but you want to find a way to put out the fire to feel good. So we're gonna, we take a lot of workshops. We go see psychiatrists, psychologists, to work with our emotions, to fix our past issues with our parents or our conditioning or we've been traumatized. Or we go to our gurus or spiritual teachers for learning techniques to manifest things. But we never ask this question, how do I know that I have these thought bombardments? Well, you say, well, because I know. But how do you know that? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Have you ever questioned that? How do I know that I got this depression or fear or anxiety? How do I know it? You know it because it gets compared to something inside you that doesn't change and is not affected. I'm going to say that again so it clicks, so you grog. It, it, it goes in because it's like, ooh, what was that, Zarathustra? What did you just say? Let me use a simple example. How do you measure how much snow has fallen on the ground? For those of you who live in areas that it snows and you get... 5 inches, 10 inches, or 1 meter, depending what kind of system you're using. And how do I measure things? Because the ground is zero, and whatever amount of snow accumulates on zero ground, something that doesn't change, because the ground doesn't go up and down. So the ground is zero, and anything above that or below that is either positive or negative. So if I have a meter of snow on it, that's how I measure it, from zero to one meter. The same thing happens with your emotions and thoughts. How do you know you have depression, or you have something, or you have thoughts? Because they get compared to something inside you that doesn't change. Something inside you doesn't change. It's not affected by your emotions or your thoughts. It's still. Something inside you, the Buddha, the witness, the one that I was referring to, that bring your attention inwards and find the witness Something inside you is witnessing everything. It's still. And that's how you know that you have a lot of thoughts, because a lot of thoughts gets compared to that part. Your attention, your problem is like me. I was there. I did that for years and years and years, just like you are doing it, your attention is on your thoughts. So you go take all kinds of different courses and put a lot of time, your energy, your money, trying to fix the thoughts. But you don't need to do any of that. All you do is bring your attention to that place which is aware of the thoughts, but not what it's aware of. Forget about the content. Keep your attention on the part of you which is aware, but not what it's aware of. And then you will see that nothing is happening. It's very quiet and it's very still.
because all of your thoughts, the measure of your thoughts is being compared to this part. If you didn't have this part in you, you would have never known that you have mind bombardments. Because if you were your thoughts, if that's your identity, what you're thinking, your, pre, your thinking process is who you are, then you would have never known. You would have never known that you have thoughts and you're hunted by your thoughts. Something must be unchanging that is aware of that which is changing all the time. Your thoughts are in a constant movement. It's a stream of thoughts constantly going. Sometimes they're slow, sometimes they're fast, sometimes there's gap of silence in between. Like when you're looking up in the sky and there's a lot of clouds, sometimes there's patches of clouds. In between two clouds, you see the sun, you see the blue sky. Sometimes it's constant, it's all cloudy. And the same thing. Same thing if you didn't have this part that's not changing, you would not be able to say, oh, I woke up this morning, and I'm very happy, or I woke up this morning and I feel very depressed. Depression against what? What is depression is being compared to that you're aware of it? Because the real you is not changing and is not affected, and it's still, that real you is aware of depression traveling through and is able to report it. But your problem is your attention is on what is traveling through. You identify with it. So then you suffer. My job is to make you realize that the truth of who you are. You're the one who's observing depression. You're not depression. Bring your attention to that part. And then you see no emotion has any power over you. It's only when it's there you feel it and then it's gone. Complant con contemplate on that. Hi, Tanas. Welcome back. Hi. Hi. Nice seeing you again. Nice to see you too. <laughs> and thank you for all the clarification. That's You're welcome. Nice. You're welcome. And you have a question for me? Yeah. Um, so what if when I'm going inside, I'm um, discovering that something that's always there is just this sadness. And I don't know what to do. Are you sad 24-7, 24 hours a day, every day? No, but it's, it's, it's a deep sadness. Right. But it's not there all the time, is it? No. So it comes and goes. Um, or it's say... or its measure goes up and down. Sometimes it's more sad, sometimes it's less. I don't know how to put it into words. <laughs> But it's something you're aware of, and it's something that that's haunting you. No, it's not haunting me. Then what is the problem? 